Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if the game is crashing with this power that is report problem, something went wrong with this game. So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart Steam. Just exit Steam and then you can relaunch Steam and then check. If that does not work, restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have Lenovo, if you have Asus, whichever brand you have, go to your system manufacturer website. For example, yeah, I'm showing for Dell. Go to your manufacturer website, select your model number, make sure that you select your computer and then find your model over here. Now, once you find your uh, select your computer, now you can go to drivers and download, find the BIOS update. Make sure that you select the right operating system. And then once you find the BIOS, you can download the BIOS and then you can run this file to install the BIOS, not this file, the file from your system manufacturer website, from your manufacturer website, you can download the BIOS and then install it now in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to run these files now for this you can go to game installation folder make our click on the game select manage click on browse local files and open this sb folder binaries win64 now over here you can see install pspc sdk runtime make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and let this process let, let it install now once done now you run this file now once that is done now run this file make a double click and install it now you can launch the game and then you can check still not working the next step is to increase the virtual memory now this has also worked for many players so it might work for you so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly. In my case, it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So, and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16. 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one 16 into 1024. 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte. So 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5. 1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 
4915152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart the computer after this. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So first of all, try instead of launching the game from here, go to the game installation folder and then open SB folder binaries Win64. Here you can see the game exe file. Make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, go to properties make a right click go to properties and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working then this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok you can even disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, this is important. So, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to Windows, sorry, pre privacy and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browser app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browser apps and then open SP binaries Win64. Select this exe file, click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, click on allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file, click on open. Click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and then open SV binaries Win64. Select this exe file, click on open, click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to delete the config folder. Now, before you delete the config fol folder, let me inform you saved settings will be lost. So to delete the config folder, you can open file exploring computer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, open the local folder and find this SB folder and open this folder, save folder. Here you can see the config folder. You can just, if you want, you can create a backup. Maybe create a backup if you want. And once you have a backup, now you can delete this config folder. Now once deleted, now launch the game and then check. If that does not work, rename the save game files. Now when you rename the save game files, all the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first. Now for this, you go to the same location, go back, again back, this location. And then here you can see SB folder, copy this folder, create a backup. Now, once you have a backup created over here, now you can make a right click on this SB and you can rename it. Now, once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. This is important. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. 
now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver then restart your computer and then go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game now also try debug mode in nvidia control panel so make a right click on the desktop show more option nvidia control panel now once nvidia control panel is open at the top left here you can see help click on help and then put a check on debug mode make sure debug mode is checked over here and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to install geforce hotfix display driver version 576.66 so you can go to google and you can search it and then go to the official website here you can see nvidia customer help.com go to Nv nvidia website here you can see uh, the display driver version 576.66 here you can see the click here to download click on download and then you can run this exe file but when you go for installation select the custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then restart your computer and then check if that does not work run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here find the game once the game is added click on the game select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here again click on add desktop app and then open sb binaries win64 this is the important exe file click on add again find the game and then select high performance and you will see your graphic card now launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to roll back graphics driver now this has also worked for few players so it might work for you so you can go to nvidia website once again i'm showing for nvidia and then you can select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card right operating system and then click on find now on this page scroll down here you can see view more version and for few players this version has worked 576.28 so find 576.28 geforce game ready driver you can click on view download it install it again make sure that you go for clean installation so you can just try to roll back graphics card driver and then restart your computer restart is important and then you can check next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in window search box and then click on control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then click on power options now over here you might see power saver option so in my case i have only balanced but in your case if you see power saver select power saver and then you can launch the game you can even go for balance and check which one is working fine for you now if that does not work if you're using this intel extreme tuning utility software if you don't have it you can install it and then you can go to performance score ratio now if this is set to like 57 58x you can try to lower it down to maybe 56x or maybe 55x maybe 54x and then apply the settings and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to now if you're using nvidia app then try to launch the game from nvidia app so open nvidia app and then go to home and over here you will see the game so you can click on play over here and you can try to launch the game from here and then you can check you should be able to launch the game from here so it's launching now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so make a right click on the game select properties and then in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step 
Now the next step is to verify the game file. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. Over here, you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64. So download both the file. Now click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well and run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and let the installation complete. Once installed, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to do not overclock. So if you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Also close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner, or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Disable Steam Overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Now if the option, go to the general tab, if the option which says enable the Steam Overlay while in game is on, turn this off and then check. If you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, you can go to Nvidia app settings over here and turn off this Nvidia overlay. In my case, it is already off. Now, if you have, or you can simply uh, close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if, if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra controller connected, disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, make sure that you close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, if nothing is working, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So make a right click on the game, select manage, click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive, like D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on a Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.